I'm thinking six. No Five way. Five and a half. Real quick guys, before we get to today's video, we want to thank Carl's Bait and Tackle for sponsoring this episode. Well, they have been a longtime supporter of the channel. We've got a little bit of an unboxing we're going to get into. I'm not going to show you too much ahead of time. I'm going to take this out on the water with us, but I wanted to mention, Guggen Squad rods are now available for pre-order, guys. Check the top of the description and check the pinned comment if you guys want to get these rods before anybody else. They're shipping out very soon and also, you can, with a club membership, get them on the cheap. $79.99 for the Green Series and $119.99 for the Gold Series, you guys. Saving a lot of money on these rods. Go ahead and get those pre-orders in, guys. Let's go ahead and get to today's video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back over to the channel today. We've got an awesome kayak fishing mission for you guys out here with Torrance, aka Pond Boys. We'll have him down in the description. We have got the Minn Kota 120 Autopilot right here on my left. And then I'm going to be sitting on the pedal drive. Devin's going to be taking over the motor driven. I'm going to be on the PDL 106. We're fishing crystal clear water today, guys, out in East Texas. An absolute pleasure anytime we get an absolute <laughs> me. An absolute pleasure anytime we get the opportunity to fish this property. And look, we are going to take full advantage and try and catch us a hog today, y'all. We have got the big baits rigged up. I'm talking about the Mega Bass Garuda. We've got it on the Tranks 400 with the power handle. You really need all that cranking power for this big bait. We're going to try and catch us a trophy size bass today. Eight foot heavy rod, 25 pound fluorocarbon. Got to be able to handle all that. And then we got plenty of other smaller baits. You can see these uh, kayaks hold a lot of rods. You can see we're already getting screwed up, man. Let's just get in the water and catch some fish. <laughs> got it. But you in the water right now. Oh shit. About to make my first few casts. Everything we're throwing from the line to the bait and lure is also available on Carl's Bait and Tackle. We have a jackhammer chatter bait with a saucy swimmer on the back end. We're throwing the 15 pound Guggen Fluoro Carbon. I'm gonna start things off over this direction, a little shallow, just because Devin and Torrance are fishing out deep and we're gonna see what hits first and if we can get on a little bit of a pattern. Torrance is on already, underspin swim bait. Biggest one of the day. Yee! All right, Torrance got himself a good one. All right, man, Torrance has already got one. I threw the chatterbait for a second. I'm gonna break out the big bait for a minute. That's what I'm most excited about is uh, catching a huge bass out here on one of these big swim baits. See if we can't make it happen. This thing's so heavy, you can literally control the direction of the boat just by which side of the boat you have this bait on. I think we'll put her away for a second. We've been throwing this for a hot minute. Time to switch it up to something on the bottom, I think. All right, guys, so Torrance has already had multiple bites off of one of the baits we actually just ordered from Carl's, which is the new size, I believe, because I think we had these in seven inch before. They absolutely tore them up out here last time. This is like a, a red and black two-tone. The exact name is Red Shad. 10 inch XO ribbons. We've had tons of luck with these, like I say, big fish. And uh, this is the new 10 inch size. We're gonna go ahead and toss this thing on because he's already got a few bites on it. And let me just go ahead and tell you what else we ordered this month. We got some of the new Yodo worms. I've been liking those a lot, just honestly, straight up Texas rigged is how we've had the most luck and uh, even drop shotting these it's a larger drop shot bait could entice some larger uh, bites from a suspending setup like a drop shot rig we uh, order these almost every other month I feel like because we need a new pair for uh, a different kayak or we had the boat we got our bank set up so Devin and I are almost always out together anyways we can't have enough of these guys <laughs> these snips are so sick you can attach them to anything and they cut through braid and mono fluoro like butter we got some more weights. I'm not even going to pull them all out of the box, uh, but we got some new tungsten weights for Nico rigs. We also got some flipping weights. Quarter ounce is what I order most frequently, so that is what we got. And then also, you don't see us use these too often, but we uh, went ahead and ordered some bobber stops in case we want to peg our weights on our Texas rigs. And we cannot uh, neglect the beast owner hooks since we've been throwing some larger baits. We got some eight aughts, which comes out to be three eight ounce, and these are the perfect weighted belly hook for your uh, larger swim baits. We actually got uh, them in 6 odd as well. This is a quarter ounce, so a little bit slower fall. Maybe fish these baits higher in the water column, or it's just a smaller bait so it doesn't require that larger a dot hook. You could go with something like this right here. All this stuff you guys can grab at Carl's Bait and Tackle. I'm going to go ahead and, like I say, rig up an XO ribbon and try and get on this bite with Torrance because he's already tearing them up. Those wind chimes are humming. I'm about to hit these reeds with you, man. Ain't nothing in this grass. Oh, swoosh. Make like a Nike and just flip it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
<laughs> Tor's got a fighter. That was a, that was a crazy land. Oh, under the boat. <laughs> Double up. All right, we found what they're hitting. Well, Torrance found what they're hitting. <laughs> he said, "You know what they like at this spot? Uh, ribbon tails." I said, "We just got that in this month's order." <laughs> so, oh no! Oh my God! There goes our worm. It's already like three feet down. Oh my! It's a tragedy. Doubling up to get the vlog started on our end. Okay, that's a deal. Uh, we'd like a little bit more size, but you know this is Weston Smith's channel, so we probably won't get it. Fishing it a little slower that time, I think. Is this man on again? Babe, you gotta get one of these worms for a Texas rig. There we go. There we go. He might be okay. All right, there we are. Curly tail worm out here in the trees. Oh, got you in the bottom of the lip, or bottom of the mouth, same thing, but different. First decent one of the session, man. Look at that little dude. All right, coming right off the stumps over here on that same red ribbon tail XO ribbon man new 10 inch size get you some for the summer they're down deep guys peace we'll take another please gotta say I think more are in the middle there we go come on <laughs> Did you take me under the tree? Oh, wait, he's still there. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Don't go under the boat. Don't go under the boat. No, you're not. Oh. Came off after all that. After all that. How big was it? Maybe two and a half. So that would have been my first fish in the boat. A good one at that. The true fighter, I'll give him that. Got off right at, right as I was getting ready to reach in and grab his mouth. But you know what? It is what it is. But whenever he uh, wraps me around that tree, as you can see, my fishing line is straight up shredded. So I got to cut this off and retie it back on and we'll, then we'll get right back in there. Hey, try and get it in the boat next time. <laughs> There we go. Oh, this one's actually got some size. He's pulling drag. Yep, this one's actually good. Come here. Keep this line tight. Hold on, kid. No, no, no. No, no, no. Out of nowhere. All right. <laughs> Dang, that thing's probably going for three pounds in a decent length. There we go, guys. Look at that hog right there on the XO ribbon. Devin has the scale, but I'd say uh, this one's probably closing in on three pounds if it's not. Look at that. What a catch, man. So sick. They're in the trees. Oh, yep, yep. You were pinned. I know. Those hooks are, uh, the hooks are also available at Carl's, guys. Thank you for playing, bud. Holy cow, what a catch. See you. Oh, he's swimming right to us. Wow. All right, that was crazy. He literally swam straight towards the boat the whole time. I mean, you saw how fast I was reeling. He was like coming straight at us. Nothing but slack on that retrieve. Wow, and he's still got some fight left in him. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> you just gotta let this worm sit, man, right next to those trees, and they come right over. Holy cow. <laughs> what? Another one done dirty on the XL ribbon, guys. Look at that. We're pumped. This is getting fun, man. You just gotta find them. It's kind of like a slow bite at the moment. I think every bite I've got has been like 20 minutes apart. And so uh, the bites are few and far between, but it seems like we're getting closer to the size we want. So, there are no complaints. We are out here having a good old time. I think that was the first bite for all three of us in a hot minute. On the XO ribbon, I just keep shortening it down a little bit after every couple bites and catches because um, the, the nose kind of gets torn up just like any other worm you'd be throwing and we want to make sure we get our hook set in there just right nothing on the crank There we go. 
That's, oh. Wow, that was heavy. On the mission fish, right below the boat. I think that one was good. Damn. Oh my gosh, guys, he just sliced the whole thing. Is that plastic glue on your boat? Mission fish just got decommissioned, you hear? <laughs> We're gonna go get the mendit and uh, fix this guy up. That was probably one you didn't want to come off. There we go. That's, oh. Wow, that was heavy. Oh yeah, I set the hook. He was like right under the boat, just by the trees. You just gotta kinda get in there. Like, Here, you got soft plastic glue on yours, so let me keep the mended on mine. No. Oh, no. I know. You did what you did, I did to the citizen. Yep, yep. He's gonna be Frankenstein. Oh, this is a good color too. Keeps getting the hits. Here's mended, guys. I'll link this down in the description. Soft plastic glue for your big swim baits. It's uh, powerful stuff. All right, we hit the side with a little bit, and now we're gonna hit the underbelly just a hair. He's gonna be fixed up good as new. Try and blow on it to get it to cure a little bit faster, and I usually stick it in the water for just a second after I make sure it's held down pretty good for a minute or so. Gave it a quick little dip, and uh, I'm sure you're supposed to give it more time than that, but we're just gonna get back in the water. We don't care. We wanna show you how good the Mendit can actually be. You can fix your soft plastics up in a heartbeat on the water. Look at that, I'm having to poke a new hole through the top because that Mendit dried so fast and cured. Look at that. Literally, it's like this bait hasn't even been used. That's so sick. Texpo's the hook. All right, good as new in probably like four minutes. Grab some of that mend it, y'all. It's killer. Save you a lot of money in the long run. Torrance says he just caught a monster. Dang, he says this thing's a six pounder. Say what? That was the glide bait? Dude, yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. Dang. Shoo, look how he is built, son. Whoa, dude. That fish is built for sure <laughs> that's the biggest fish of the day for sure man out of nowhere holy smokes he said he's throwing a big old glide bait too getting the job done bluegill all right sponsored by calls bait and tackle <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 5.7 Five and three quarters, dude. Three. I guess we need to get our heads back in the game. I might need to start throwing the Jackal Gantarell. That was on the bluegill swim bait. Well, glide bait, uh, I, I guess, uh, by depths. We do have a couple hard body bluegill baits to throw, so we might just do the same, man. Stick around. Big swim bait game is a little tough today. I've been throwing it. I have been chunking this thing all the way around the place. The hot spot seems to be up in the trees, but I just figured I'd give something different a shot since Torrance did catch that one on the glide bait a little bit more shallow. So I'm kind of working the bank here, and then I'm gonna go back and hit the stumps over there. Gotta mix things up though. We're throwing the mission fish. We've had multiple bites on this thing today. Claims to be the world's most advanced weedless swim bait. This is the seven inch. We might only be here another 20 minutes or so. Y'all, it started to become an absolute beat down. I mean, it is hot out. It says 90 right here, meaning it probably feels like temp of about 98 with no wind. It started to all die down and so did the bite. So we jumped out to the city, man. We are going to stop at a little Mexican food spot and get us some lunch. We want to thank Carl's Bait and Tackle for sponsoring today's video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Devin missed a good one. I missed a good one. And Torrance caught a good one. Don't forget, you guys can pre-order your Guggen Squad rods at Carl's Bait and Tackle with discounts for club members. We'll see you all on the next one. Peace. <gasps>